years ago, I was at our collection, which is housed in the University of New Mexico, and there were a group of us. Uh, I was one of two Anglos, and the rest were people from the villages, and we were down in the basement opening up, looking at the Chaco collection. It was just wonderful. I've only got to do that two or three times in my time here. But there was a specific symbol. I don't know what else to call it, a symbol on these items, different than anything we'd ever seen. The guy standing next to me, when we opened up the drawer, I just could feel the electricity go through him. And he stood silent for a while while we went around and kind of looked at all this stuff. And then he finally reached into his shirt and pulled out something he was wearing that had been given to him by his father, that had been given to him by his father, that had been given to him by his father. He had no idea how old this was, except that it was very important to him and it spoke to who he was and who he is today, as well as his clan, a small clan. And on it was the same symbol. There are four rooms right over there that those items came out of. The next year he was here, standing there, spreading cornmeal, saying his prayers, face to face with his ancestors in ways he couldn't have ever before. There were other places he could go and do it, but this was Chaco. This was Bonito. So for him, this is not an empty building that expresses something from the past there's still life in this building. It's not the center of their world, but the spirit hasn't gone. So that's important for us to remember. We wander through, and your memory will be of an empty building. And it was real easy for the early researchers to think, yeah, it all came apart, it failed. Another collapsed civilization. Don't you love it? Civilizations are always collapsing. What happens to the people? They survived. Do we then say that their civilization was a failure? They survived. Why? Because of some of what they learned here. And maybe some of it was learned in, okay, we don't want to do this anymore. This isn't working. They had the flexibility and the creativity to make the changes. And all they did was move. And now they live over there, and they live down there, and they live over there. But they haven't died. They haven't disappeared.